This week on Game On, he's wrapped up as a gopher. Next stop, the NFL. That's the hope of this talented football player, Marquise Gray, in the house. It's here. The NFL draft is days away. What will the Purple do? Fans are anxious. The Viking Insider is on the Game On clock. And this is the hottest movie going. You're hearing from the stars of 42 from Hollywood. The Twins are trying to jumpstart their season. From the broadcast home of the Twins, we welcome Ryder. And talking Mayak titles and basketball with the court leader at St. Thomas. It's now time to get your game on. Now, from Cooper Irish Pub in St. Louis Park, it's Game On with Rod Simons. And greetings once again. Good to be with you. Rod Simons, Game On TV at Cooper in St. Louis Park in the shops at Weston. Delighted you're taking time out with us on this weekend. And yeah, the snow is melting, so we're talking football. And we couldn't be more excited because the NFL schedule's out. The draft is just days away. We have one of the biggest names in Minnesota joining us to talk about his draft aspirations. And we're also going to be talking about that movie 42 with Harrison Ford and some of the stars that make it one real big blockbuster. We also have a radio personality, so let's get started, as we always do. We start game on by the numbers. When we look at the numbers, we see the Twins are home all week with Miami and Texas at Target Field. The Vikings are now on the clock. The NFL draft has arrived. The Wild with four games remaining before the playoffs. And the Wolves are wrapped, so the links are set to open WNBA training camp. Motion in the backfield and a handoff. No, keeper. Gray straight up the middle. Gray at the 40, 35, 30, 20, in the 10. There's Marquise Gray on a keeper. There he goes, and here he is. Leading off game on, it's Marquise Gray. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. You bring a crowd with you. Yeah, man, had a great turnout today. This is awesome. So you've left the U behind. You've been training nonstop. The draft is right around the corner. How excited are you? Very excited and yet very anxious. Uh, I mean, I've been waiting for this moment my whole life and just ready to see how things go the next the next week on our, on our three day period. And uh, I'm anxious because I don't know what position I'm going to be playing, uh, whether it's tight end, quarterback, or receiver. But I'm just ready to make someone's roster and I'm just looking forward to it. If you had your druthers, I would imagine you'd want to be a quarterback. Oh yeah, of course. I've been quarterback all my life, but like I said, I mean, it's, it's about making a sacrifice. I did that at, at the U, and now I'm going to make another one at the, at the pro level. Now, I understand you've been training with Ben Utech, so you've got the tight end stuff down. I, I would like to think so, but I mean, all, the only thing I've been doing is blocking bags so far. It's, it's, it's a totally different story when I'm blocking those big guys, but Coach, uh, Coach Ben Utech has, been a, has done a tremendous job with me. Uh, I'm grateful that he's been helping me so far, and, and I'm just ready to see how, how things go in the next few weeks. Now, one of the things people might not know, you had a great career at the U, uh, would have liked to won more games, obviously. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you turned the chapter, and this is all business to you now because you got a family, you got two beautiful babies, twins. Mm -hmm. Tell us about them. Yeah, twin boys. We have a 14 year old daughter. Uh, she's, uh, I mean, hopefully, all three of them be be big in the uh, sports world, but our daughter right now, she's in basketball, she's doing really good. And like I said, our twin boys, man, those those two guys are a handful. They're big babies for their size, they're 17 months, they're smart, and they're, 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 they're on a whole nother level right now. So you're really playing with a purpose, aren't you? Oh yeah, I have to. I mean, I'm got to be the provider for my family now. I mean, uh, I was just playing for myself back then, but now i am got to prepare for three. Nice. So where does Mr. Gray want to wind up, or do you care? Uh, I mean, I, like I said, I would love to play quarterback, but then again, I just want to play football. How about uh, a city? Indianapolis, your home? Uh, I mean, any, any team that wants me, I'll be, I'll be glad to be a part of their team. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to it. We'll be keeping our eyes on you, and after the draft, come back. We'll, we'll uh, celebrate because you're going to have a long NFL career. I hope so. Thank you. Thanks for having me. great in the house. Congratulations on your success in college and what's ahead in the NFL. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Only here on Game Catch me talking twins all season long on their new home, 96.3 K-Twin FM. Minnesota favorite Jason Nagel joins me for the K-Twin final call after each and every twins broadcast. Get updates at ktwin.com and at gameontvmn.com. It's radio for us. The K-Twin final call with Game On Flair, only at 96.3 K-Twin FM. 
96.3 K-Twin Radio for us with Ryder Lindsay and Ron Coomer, your new K-Twin afternoon show. Good afternoon. Hope Who says you can't day. come home? On deck, it's Ryder on the radio. Back home again. But first, it's the K-Twin voice of the fan asking your feelings on the Twins. Well, I think I haven't watched too much of them, but they surprised me so far. Are, are you a big I'm, fan? I'm not a big fan. I uh, did go to the opening game, and they lost, but then they won the next two, so... Probably should never go again. Is there anything that helps you see the court better or get so many, rack up so many assists? You know, you know who you're playing with. You know, if he can jump, if he likes going left, he likes going right. No looks in between, to no one to throw an alley oop or. No, it's just practice. Ball handling skills, passing. It's just practice a lot, you know. Anything else? I can read minds. I won't tell anyone. I know. Fire scores! You got a hold on my sleeve, I can't leave. It murdered the original me and I can't grieve. So this is who I'm big and one's gonna catch him right here. Shoot that scores with the curse in my shot. Give my mama crib in the birds and no fit in the mean and all of the in between. Shoot that scores! The swerve went in over time! Hi, I'm Christian Ponder with the Minnesota Vikings. I know how important it is to fuel up so that I can be successful on and off the field. As a partner with the Taste of the NFL and the NFL's Play 60 programs, I am proud to encourage all of my fellow NFL players to do our part to make sure kids get the nutrition they need to learn and play at their best. Go to tasteofthenfl.com and nfl.com to find out how you can help. Welcome to the team. I'm Meat Sauce from KFN. My weekly trivia question is courtesy of Bar Abilene. What is the largest sports arena in North America? Don't touch that dial. The answer before the end of Game On. Welcome back to Game On, powered by Cooper Irish Pub at St. Louis Park. This is one of the newest men in town. It's Ryder. On the radio from K-Twin Radio, how are you? Oh, I'm excellent, it's good to be with you today. Good to have you with us, and I, I love the opportunity to work with you, and welcoming you from Denver, how has the transition been? Well, this is coming back home to me. Yeah. My whole family's from Winona. I went to college in Winona, yeah. and graduated in four years, because my mom made me. Uh, so it's been a long time since I've been in Minnesota, uh, but it's good to be back. How's the radio thing going? How's, how's it at K-Twin? with music and sports and community, and you're throwing in with baseball. I gotta tell you, I have never been a part of something that's more exciting yeah. before in my life. Uh, I've, I've worked in a lot of big cities before where the radio station has had a part of the team, been the flagship of the team, but never actually been a part of its entire culture. Right. And let me tell you, the Polad culture is an amazing thing to be a part of. I was just talking with somebody a couple of minutes ago that uh, when I'm done here with you, I've got to go work out because we're doing this fitness challenge as a part of the radio station. And they're like, well, where are you going to go work out? And I'm like, well, down in the basement because we've got a full workout facility there. It's crazy. Yeah. It's a, it's a beautiful place. And you like baseball. You've been in Denver for the last few years. You've been all around the country, but you do like baseball. Oh my God, yes. I mean, I grew up a Cubs fan in Chicago, okay? That's where I spent the majority of my years, but that's where I developed my love of baseball. Actually, didn't go to a lot of days of high school because I was in Wrigley Field boy. in the left field bleachers. Um, but I can proudly say that all the way through the 90s, when it came down to video game baseball, the Twins were always my team. Awesome. Yeah. Talk about your team, Lindsey, Coomer, and you in the afternoons. It is an amazing compilation of talents and personalities. And let me tell you, working with Ron Coomer, uh, growing up being a fan of his, and now sitting next to him and looking at him every day and seeing him as, as a guy with an opinion yeah. and a sense of humor is something that I never pictured. Because He does know, have an opinion. Oh, that he does. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's funny. Let me just tell you something. That's been the thing that I was most excited about was being able to like 
peel the onion layers off of him and really find out who he is beyond baseball. And let me tell you, if you haven't listened yet, there's a whole lot. And talk about a fireball. Lindsay mm -hmm. is very, very talented, loves sports like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, no, Lindsay is the in-game announcer for the Minnesota Swarm, which, if you don't know, is the lacrosse oh, team. Oh, they're on here all the time. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and so she takes that energy and that, that youthful spirit and brings it to our show every day. She's actually in charge of sports on our show. Nice. So that then Ron and I can geek out and talk about it. If you have not heard Ryder yet, you're missing it. Ryder, Lindsay, and Coomer, afternoon starting at 3 o'clock on Caitlin 96.3. Don't be a stranger. Absolutely, my friend. Rod, you're always welcome by our place. We love you, man. This man has his game on only here on Game On. You can keep up with the T-Wolves and the NBA 24-7 with my weekly blog. It's Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. Simon Says full of inside information. We keep you connected to all things inside the team from player movement to special promotions and so much more. It's interactive, so weigh in. Drop me a note at rod at gameontvmn.com. It's Simon Says every Thursday at Timberwolves.com. Up next, Viking fans can barely contain themselves. What can we expect in this week's NFL Draft? Our Viking insider with the X's and O's. But before that, it's the K-Twin, voice of the fan, asking your feelings on the Twins. I think uh, they're playing fairly okay. We've had some hard games these last couple games. Yeah. Do you think they'll win more than they lose this season? I hope so. They don't agree on much, these two, but they do love K-Twin, these two. Hey, Guardy, you know the Twins are on our favorite radio station? Yeah, we're excited to be on FM. <sighs> Will you start a radio? Make it out to uh, Keith and Kevin? Kevin and Keith. Keith and Kevin's fine. Kevin, then Keith. How about combine it? Kethevin? How would you spell that? K-E-I-T-H-E-I-K-E-T-E-V-E-N. That's why I can't go back to Cleveland ever again. <laughs> hey, do you actually looking like your profile picture? Do you not having a mustache? Well, I do kind of have a mustache. But it's, it's, it's a beard. It's... Right, do you not having a mustache? <laughs> um, those are my friends over there in case this was a total train wreck. Yeah, actually those are my friends uh, hitting on your friends. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Keep the good times going with the crisp, refreshing taste of Bud Light. Here we go. Welcome back to Game On, powered by Cooper. Really excited, and I know you Viking fans are too. Mike Lobshaw in the house with us. He's the information czar of the Vikings. Great to have you back with us, Thank buddy. You. I love coming on with you because I get promoted every time. I know information you Information czar is great. He's actually taking over for Rick Spielman. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Let's get after it because the draft is just days away, and I've seen so many mock drafts. The Vikings are picking down at 23? 23 and 25. We have 11 picks. Do they stay right there, or will they move? Will they surprise us? This is a good question. The Vikings' general manager is Rick Spielman. He loves draft picks, and he loves to trade. The Vikings had two picks in the first round. They have six in the first four and 11 overall. So here you have a GM who's crafty and good at making trades, and yeah. he has a surplus. He can move up. He can move back. Let's say, Rod, the second or third best quarterback is still there at 23 or 25. Rick can move back with the team. The best running back could be there at 23 or 25. He could move back. Or he could use the surplus that he has, 11 picks overall, and move up and grab a receiver that he loves that he can't believe is still there. We know we have definite needs. Cornerback, wide receiver, linebacker. Will it be best player available that goes in that situation? Yeah, I think what you have to look at is the depth at every position. And wherever there isn't great depth, you know, those players in that group become elevated. But here's the thing with the Vikings, the positions that you mentioned, and I would throw defensive tackle in there as well. Those are deep positions in this draft. That gives the Vikings great flexibility to move up, to move back, or to stay where they are and just take the best player available. Rapid fire for you. Are you sad to see Anton Winfield yeah. go? I am sad to see him go because he's a great leader, a great tackler, had a lot of heart. He meant a lot to this team. Leslie Frazier will tell you that. At the same time, we needed to get younger at that position, whether we had Antoine or not. So it does not change how the Vikings approach the draft. I still think corner is one of those two, three, 
four positions that has to be addressed this year. And Percy Harvin. I was one of those guys, kind of sad to see him go because yeah. he's so talented, but if he doesn't want to be here, sign on. You know, the Vikings always say every year in the pre-draft, we want guys who love the game, we want guys who want to be here, we want guys who are good football players. Right. And Percy was a lot of those things, but if he wasn't all of those things and if he didn't want to be with the Vikings, it's time to move on. Yeah. Percy goes to a good situation in Seattle. Yeah. But let's not mistake, the Vikings got, a, got the good end of the deal too because they get an extra first round pick. That gives them a lot of flexibility in a couple weeks. Football's back, baby. This is a fun time of year. It is. Thank you for being with us. We'll watch all your stuff. He's all over vikings.com. Look for the information czar on your computer or Thanks, Ron. smartphone. That's right. Thanks, buddy. Only here. I'll give you. It's a busy sports week, so here's your Purple Pride Planner. The Twins get the Miami Marlins on the 22nd and 23rd. The Kings visit the Wild on the 23rd. The Vikings with the NFL Draft. And when the Vikings take the field, it will be August 9th, their first preseason game against the Houston Texans. The Vikings have released their 2013 schedule. Some key dates, September 29th in London against the Steelers. There's Green Bay away and home at the Metrodome. Chicago as well. Big schedule. You can get all the ticket information at vikings.com. Continuing on the planner, the Swarm are in the playoffs. The Lynx will open against Connecticut. The St. Saint Paul Saints against Fargo May 9th. And United FC Carolina May 4th. The PGA's in New Orleans. The Champions Tour in Savannah, Georgia. Richmond hosts NASCAR on April 27th. And go for football on the field August 31st. Get into the game. Golf for the Gift coming up on June 27th. The NHL Alumni Golf Tournament is coming up in July. K-Twins Spare Key Scramble on June 10th. And the Wine Fest in May. Get more information at GameOnTVMN.com. And don't forget, catch our podcast with Rod Webby and the A-Train. All the inside information. And you can let us know your thoughts at GameOnTVMN.com. And that's your Purple Pride Planner. I'm Jane Hurt in Los Angeles. The biggest baseball movie in years is here. My one-on-ones with the stars of 42 ahead on Game On. First though, it's the K-Twin voice of the fan asking your feelings on the Twins. I'd like to see more consistency in hitting and obviously see our starters, you know, take us a little deeper other than Kevin Correa. I saw the other day on Twitter that you like to get pedicures. When my feet are as important as they are, I gotta take care of them. They're the only thing that are getting me up and down this floor. I think we need to talk Chris into getting one because I've been trying for years. You never have one? I've never done it and I don't think I'm gonna do it. I don't want anybody touching my feet. I think if Greg can do it, you can do it. So what do you think? Awesome. Being creative is who we are. At Wallingburg and Deeply, families are our passion. We help create new families. This combination of experience, passion, and creativity allows us to fully represent individuals in family court crises. Wallingburg and Deeply believes in families. We will listen, counsel, and advocate for you. Wallingburg and Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. Welcome back to Game On, powered by Cooper Irish Pub. Rod Simon's delighted you're with us. This last week has been a very special one in Major League Baseball. On Monday, it was the anniversary of the day that Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier. It was Diversity Day in every Major League park. All the players wore 42 in honor of Jackie Robinson. And we know about the movie that is out right now called 42. Our special correspondent, Minnesotan Jane Hurt, from Los Angeles now with a look at 42. World's not so simple anymore. I guess it never was. We ignored it. Now we can't. What drew you to this project? Are you a baseball fan? First of all, I thought it was gonna be a great movie. And I thought it was a chance to play a character different to what I had the opportunity to play before in a story that I thought had some real importance. To work with a director that I really admired on a script that he wrote that I thought was a great script. 
Your enemy will be out in force and you cannot meet him on his own low ground. While you were shooting this movie, did you ever stop and say, wait a minute, I'm playing Jackie Robinson? Uh, no, I knew the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I couldn't get away from it. Like, I mean, it, it was my own um, personal experience of it, but I, I, I mean, I woke up every morning buzzing. Only in the morning, only in the, only in, only in the morning when you wake, you open your eyes, do you not know that you have this to do. I mean, it's, it's, it's your life. Don't let them get to you. I won't. God built me to last. Did you feel like you developed like a personal relationship with him? There were some moments where I, and weirdly enough, it was it happened several times while we were shooting the, the athletic, the, the stunts, the baseball. Um, the rundown that you see, which I don't think there's ever been a rundown or, or pickle play in a baseball movie before. I think we shot that like over 50 times. It was so tiring that in those tired moments, um, I, would go, I would say to myself, you have to go on and do another one because of him. Like what you're going through is nothing in comparison to what he went through. All right, number one, you playing ball or socializing? Playing ball, up. Playing ball. Maybe tomorrow we'll all wear 42. That way they won't tell us apart. We moved the chef out of the way. Brian Elias is with us. He oversees a lot of things here at Cooper. Great to have you with us, Brian. Good and good I here. can imagine with the melting of the snow, you couldn't be happier. We can't wait to get the patio season started. That's and sure. last year, it started a lot earlier. Tell me about that. Uh, last year, by St. Patrick's Day, it was 80 degrees. We had the patio already uh, going by then. This year, not so lucky. You know, normally when the chefs are here, they tell us about all these great foods, these great dishes they prepared. You can actually have that, and you have a really nice happy hour situation for people in this very busy spot. Yeah, we, we, uh, we bring out uh, the smaller uh, appetizer platters for you to, to be a, to sample during this time. Um, it allows people to get uh, some of our bigger items at a uh, re more reasonable price. So if you have special plans, something after work, you want a group that comes in, you can take care of it. We can take care of anything. Ask for Brian special. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. Only here. I'll give up. You can now get your game on anytime with the show's official app. Download our game on app for iPhone and Android too. It's full of your favorite shows, sponsor links, photos, and so much more. We link you to our show website and to our partner site, the best Viking fan site out there at purplepride.org. So bookmark us at gameontvmn.com. There's reason for the good vibe at St. Thomas after another amazing basketball season. Their outstanding head coach is with us. It's next, only here on Game On. You gotta hold okay. You gotta be Fire scores. I got a hold on my sleeve. I can't leave. It murdered the original me, and I can't grieve. So this is who I'm big and one's gonna catch him right in. Shoot that scores with the court shot. Give my mom a crib in the birds and no fit in the mean and all of the in between. Shoot that scores. The swarm went in over time. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance or right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Hey, it's Meat Sauce again. Here's the answer to your trivia question. The question was, 
What is the largest sports arena in North America? The answer, Michigan Stadium in Ann Arbor holds 109,901 fans. That was a good time, right? We'll see you Tuesday night at Bar Abilene for Trivia 8 to 10 and next week here on Game On. It is time for the Mayag Minute. Head Coach John Tower, St. Thomas Academy in the house. Great. Coach, great to have you with us. Thank you. Great to be here. Great season. Coach of the Year honors. You almost got to the title game. Come up a little bit short, but the cupboard's not bare. Yeah, we lost five seniors, and we're going to miss them, certainly. But we've, we've tried to build a program that's really sustainable. And over time, we want young guys to emerge and, and grow into those leadership roles. And this year, our seniors, if you look at where they were two years ago, they've come leaps and bounds. And uh, we're really proud of that. A seamless transition from Coach Fritz, in my opinion. Your thoughts? Well, Coach Fritz was a great mentor, and we've been fortunate to have a lot of success last year and this year. And, um, you know, to be 30-2 and two and number one in the country for oh, much yeah. of the year, um, certainly our guys, I thought, they set their goals as high as they possibly could, and, and uh, we were about one step away from it. What's that like to get that close and not get it? Well, it hurts. I mean, it's three weeks later, and it still stings. We just had our end-of-the-season banquet, and... Uh, you know, I was fortunate as a player. I played in the Final Four at St. Thomas as an assistant coach and now as a head coach. And um, there's no question it hurts because you miss being around the guys every day. The loss hurts. And some of it is just the adrenaline rush of the season. So it's kind of a, a confluence of factors that, you know, at the end of the year, you're sort of like, what do we do now? But I love coaching these guys. They're just so proud of the way they played all year. The thing that always gets me is the, the great success that is enjoyed at St. Thomas. And these kids are playing without scholarships. They're paying their way. They are, and they make a great sacrifice, so do their parents. And, and I think a lot of it, we talk about the balance of excellence that academics, athletics, and career preparation, that we think they can get a really unique experience um, where they can have the best of all worlds and come out with a degree that's going to serve them well, but in the meantime, get a great education and hopefully win a lot of games and make friends for life. Now, do you stay busy during the offseason? Sure, right now is sort of the crunch time of recruiting when, when guys are letting us know where they're going to school and so this is really when you talk about the cupboard this is when we're trying to make sure we stockpile that cupboard and keep it full. Nice. Continued best wishes. Championship next year. Always a pleasure. We hope so. Love to be back. Coach Tower in the house in the Mayak. Love for you to join us for our next game on taping. It's April 23rd at 3 o'clock after the Twins Marlins game at Kieran's Irish Pub. You'll meet Twins players Aaron Hicks scheduled to attend, Ron Coomer as well, and Swarm lacrosse players. We'll have autographs and ticket giveaway, and we'll get you on TV. Check for updates. Game on TV on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Busy show it's been. Thank you for letting us be a part of your weekend. Don't forget, get all our updates at GameOnTVMN.com, and we'll look forward to seeing you at our next Game On Shoot. Until then, I'm Rod Simons. Make it a great weekend. Keep your game on. on.